Welcome back to the Network Essential series. In today's video, let's go over the basics of Power over Ethernet or PoE for short. No matter what IoT device you have, it will always require an internet connection and a power supply to take full advantage of it. And while this seems self-explanatory, it can pose a challenge when your device has only a single physical Ethernet port. This is a pretty typical case for devices like CCTV or IP cameras, access controls and access points, as they generally have only one physical Ethernet port. That's where PoE comes in. PoE is a technology that allows you to equip external devices with both internet connectivity and power using only one Ethernet cable. Though keep in mind that this technology only works with PoE compatible devices when connected via Ethernet cables or when using PoE injectors. The main reason PoE was created is simplicity and ease of use because thanks to it, you don't need to think about additional power cabling, which more often than not creates wire hassles. And let's be real, these can make anyone a bit overwhelmed and lost. There are two types of PoE, active and passive. There is also a passive-aggressive PoE, but let's not talk about that. I'm just kidding, of course. And right before we get into the details about each of the two, note that active and passive PoE standards are not compatible. Usually, active PoE comes with three standards of power supply, 802.3 AF, AT and BT, all of which provide different power outputs. Active PoE performs a certain handshake and checks if the end device supports active PoE technology before providing it with internet and power. So, when you connect an end device like a CCTV camera that supports active PoE to a PoE switch, the latter will first send a signal to the CCTV camera asking whether it can be powered through an Ethernet cable. If the CCTV camera does support active PoE, it lets the switch know. This leads the switch to ask what kind of power standard and voltage range the CCTV camera supports. Only when the CCTV camera discloses what kind of power standard it supports, our switch with active PoE will provide the CCTV camera with the exact amount of power the device needs. Passive PoE works in a different manner. It doesn't perform any handshakes before supplying an internet connection as well as power and provides as much of it as it can. So let's say you have a passive PoE switch that can supply 24 volts and you want to power up a CCTV camera that upholds the same amount of power. Everything will work just fine. However, if your end device can uphold up to 12 volts, but you power it with the passive PoE switch with 24 volts, you will most likely destroy your CCTV camera. That's why with devices that have passive PoE, you always have to make sure both they and your end devices have compatible power ranges. Hopefully, this gave you a good picture of PoE. If you'd like to see more videos about network essentials, make sure to check our channel as we have a dedicated playlist for that. As always, we encourage you to comment on topic suggestions down in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next episode.